Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to approximate radical expressions. Well, let's say you have the square root of 8, right? That's not something that we know, but if you want to approximate the answer, right, of what square root of 8 is, you have to look at the two perfect squares next to 8 that you do know, and then you can make a guess. So let's look at 8. Well, the number we know that's closest to that is square root of 9, right? That's a, the closest perfect square. And the closest perfect square on the other side, less than 8, is going to be square root of 4, right? So now we have two perfect squares that we know the answer to. Square root of 4 gives us 2, and square root of 9 gives us 3. So we know that 8 is going to be somewhere in between 2 and 3. But where in between? Well, if you think of the numbers in between root 4 and root 9, we have a root 5, a root 6, a root 7, and a root 8. So 8 falls closest to root 9, right? And if you want to approximate where it is, well, this is half, right? This is about, um, you know, 0.6. This is going to be about 0.8, right? If I'm just guessing. So I'm going to say root 8 is about... 2.8. And I just use the perfect squares on the sides to guess and estimate where I think, you know, square root of 8 is going to be. And it turns out it is approximately 2.8. Um, and, you know, if you want to guess more, you can, you know, divide further and see how close you can get. But that's just going to give you a general approximation of where square root, um, square root of 8 lies. I'm Rachel, and thank you very much for learning with me today.